Good morning, my children, and welcome to your English class, the class of the teacher Jacob. So, for today, my children, we are going to have a final review of the numbers that we are going to see through Kinder One. El día de hoy vamos a ver un repaso final a todos los números con los que vamos a estar trabajando durante Kinder One. That means from number one to number ten. Now, remember, my children, all of the numbers that we're going to discuss here, they have their own shape and form. So, in that regard, it's easier to recognize them. Recuerden, chicos, que cada uno de los números que hemos estado trabajando, cada uno de ellos tiene sus diferentes formas, ¿ok? De esa manera, pues es más fácil para nosotros reconocer cada uno de ellos, ¿ok? Now, the activities of the day, my children, they contain dinosaurs. They contain several dinosaurs. While you are painting them, remember to count each one of them because at the end, the result are 10. 10 dinosaurs. La actividad que ustedes tienen para el día de hoy son dinosaurios. Ahora, esos dinosaurios, ustedes los van a tener que colorear. Al final de eso, van a contar todos los dinosaurios que aparecen en las dos hojas que ustedes tienen en casita y me van a decir cuántos son en total. Ok, very good. Now, let's begin with our review. For this, remember, the teacher Jacob says it first and then you are going to repeat after me. Ok, now, the final number, I want to show it to you when we get there. So, let's begin. Remember, the number one, once again, is the one that is well stamped and is always saluting. The number one, the soldier. The number two is the animal of the farm. The one that makes noises like quack, 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 quack. Number two. The number three is the snake. The animal of the zoo. The number four, the chair upside down. Remember the chair in Spanish, una silla al revés. The number five, the number with the huge stomach, with the huge belly, because he loves to eat. The number six, remember the cherry. Remember the cherry, it's a very small fruit, color red. The number seven is the number that is always sleepy, always inclined, okay? That's the number seven. The number eight, the number that looks like Olaf, which is the snowman. Then we have the number nine, which looks like a balloon. Remember the balloon, it's part of the family of toys and it's basically an oval full of air with a string to hold it, to grab it, okay? Recuerden que el número nueve tiene forma de un globo y el globo es de la familia de los juguetes. Recuerden que un globo tiene forma de un óvalo que está lleno de aire con un hilo para sostener. And finally, we have the last number that we're going to study on Kinder One. The number 10. Now, the number 10, my children, remember, contains two digits. Recuerden que el número 10 contiene dos dígitos. Dígitos son números. One y two. Estos son dígitos y tenemos dos. Estos dos dígitos cuando los juntamos van a crear el number 10, el número 10. So, what numbers do we need to make number 10? ¿Cuáles son esos dos dígitos o esos dos números que necesitamos para crear el número 10? Un 1 y un 0. Cuando tenemos el number 1 y el number 0, los vamos a juntar así y vamos a crear el number 10. Okay, now please repeat after me. Number 10. 
Excellent, very good. But the teacher wants to hear you more. So with all of your energy, very, very loud, repeat after me. Number 10. Excellent, very good, very good. Now, for this, let's make an activity in which the teacher will say characteristics of the numbers and at the end you will have to tell me what number I'm referring to. Vamos a hacer una actividad en donde el teacher Jacob les dirá características de cada uno de los números que aparecen ahí y al final ustedes me tendrán que decir del número que estoy hablando. This number, he loves hamburgers, he loves Hot dogs, he loves pizza. That's why he has a big stomach. What number is it? Number five. Excellent. Recuerden que number five es el número que le gusta comer, le gustan las pizzas, las hamburguesas, y por eso pues está llenito. Let's continue with another number. This number looks like Olaf. From the movie Frozen. What number is it? Number eight. Very good. Number eight looks like Olaf, like the snowman. This next number looks like a small fruit color red. What number is it? Number nine. Oh, remember number nine is the balloon. Number six, very good. Remember the number six is the cherry, a small fruit, color red. Let's continue with the next number. This number has two digits, number one and number zero. And when we put them together, it makes number Number 10, very good, which is the number of today. Let's continue with two more and that's it. This next number, it's an animal, it uh, looks like an animal of the zoo because it's very dangerous. It's color green and it's always crawling like this. What number is it? The number three which is the snake. And finally, this next number is always, always lazy, always sleepy, and always inclined. What number is it? Number seven. Very good. It's right here. El que siempre está dormido, el que siempre tiene sueño. Excellent. Now, once again, my children, the printed activities of today contains several dinosaurs, okay? Now, while you are painting the dinosaurs, at the end, it's very important that you count them, all of them, and you tell me what number is it. Recuerden, chicos, que en la actividad del día de hoy, en sus páginas impresas, tienen dinosaurios, okay? Y recuerden dibujarlos de varios colores, colorearlos correctamente, sin salirse de la raya, sin hacer rayones. Recuerden que el teacher Jacob quiere trabajos bien hechos. Al final de colorearlos, no se les olvide contar cada uno de los dinosaurios que tienen en esas páginas para que al final me digan cuántos son en total. So that's it for today, my children. I hope that you have a beautiful day. Thumbs up because you did an excellent job. Take care. Goodbye.